Hello again, Des Asante here from the Tech Muse Academy with another MixLessons.com video quick tip. Um, this one comes to us uh, via a question that I stumbled upon in the HomeRecording.com forums from a member named Daniel Heger. And he asks very simply, what is proximity effect? Uh, it's an interesting question. It's an interesting phenomenon, in fact, and it's something that I've been asked about a few times. And essentially what it is, it's it's a thing that takes place when using directional microphones, uh, cardioid or hypercardioid, unidirectional microphones, um, wherein the closer you place the mic to the sound source that you're trying to capture, the more perceived bass or bottom end response uh, arrives to, in, into the signal. So it's the... Um, it's the way in which you can get that sort of late night radio voice by getting right up on the microphone um, to get that deep bassy uh, sound to your voice. And it's something you can try very, very simply. Grab any cardioid microphone that you have in your collection, hit record, get maybe six inches away from it, do some speaking, and then get a little closer and do a little more speaking. And you'll see, you'll hear rather, that the bass frequencies become more prominent in the sound, in the recorded signal. Now, this is neither good nor bad. It's just a thing that you should be aware of. Um, for example, if you're capturing a vocalist that has a somewhat thin and um, brassy kind of tone to their voice, then you might set your levels a little lower, a little more conservatively, and instruct the vocalist to get a little bit closer onto the microphone. Maybe get right up on the pop filter, if hopefully you're using a pop filter. Um, and the opposite can then be true as well. If you're, if you're uh, using a microphone that has a generally warm round bottom end that perhaps is a little too much for the signal that you're trying to capture. Uh, let, we're talking vocals here, although you can use this technique in other, uh, in other applications as well. Then you could do the exact opposite. Set your levels a little higher, get the vocalist to stand a few inches further away from the mic. One thing to consider, of course, is the further away you are from the microphone, the more of the room and ambient sound is going to uh, blend, bleed into the signal. The, the direct signal to ambient signal ratio will change as you get further away from the mic. So this is a way in which you can EQ, so to speak, the signal from the source. Um, I consider my microphone choice and my microphone placement or technique to be my very first EQ decision. And I think that that's a wise way of looking at things. Um, if you don't have a lot of microphones in your collection to choose from, then you can use some of this mic placement technique keeping in mind the effects of proximity effect to help you to sort of EQ the source that you're trying to capture before it's even been captured. And this is a great way to look at how you can use proximity effect, what it is, how it might benefit you in your own mixes. Uh, if you know more about the topic and like to share, by all means, comment below the video. And until then, we'll see you on the next quick tip.